Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. Uh, what is your shadow side, your shadow work for Libra? Uh, you could apply this to any of your placements. Uh, this is going to be for February 2022. Um, so we're going to take a look at what your shadow side is, what your shadow work is, um, how you could best navigate through it. We all have it. It's a part of ourselves that we're not proud of, that we repress, uh, something that we don't acknowledge or sweep under the rug part of our spiritual journey in our healing journey part of our spiritual path is tending to that shadow side all the time it doesn't go away okay so we're going to see what that is it could be uh so apply this to your own unique situation it could be you that that's going through this or that you know someone that's going through this okay uh keep in mind these are general messages uh take what resonates leave the rest behind um if this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, uh, Libra, we're going to pull some Oracle and then we'll get into the tarot. What messages do we have for Libra uh, regarding their uh, shadow side and their shadow work for February 2022? release your blocks be proud of yourself so you're going on this journey right now i mean this is the energy of um unblocking uh what appears to be your sacral chakra okay so this is where you know your creativity is you know your sexual energy your desires here i feel like you're pursuing I, I feel like as you're unblocking this i feel like you're pursuing a lot of stuff here so there's this energy even though you're not done with this journey i feel like you might be um you know making a lot of progress here for yourself okay so calf scorpio and taurus in your chart could be dealing with any of those energies in and around you past present or future what else do we have for libra regarding their shadow side, their shadow work, financial constraints. So I feel like someone here has always had finance issues. You know, it could be a situation where, you know, I feel like someone here is always financially struggling. Could be a situation where, you know, your root chakra is blocked, where you know, there was no safety in the home. Uh, you know, there was, you know, maybe your parents didn't have money or that, you know, there was issues putting food on the table. There was always struggle surrounding that. So I feel like you're trying to release that too. Perhaps unblock your root chakra. I mean, your root chakra is a representation of safety, your home, your money, okay? So the lower two chakras for you guys, Libra, is possibly blocked you definitely need to do the work you definitely could use crystals as support to help you unblock those such as any crystals that are orange or red all right Amplif amplifying abundance abundance is my birthright and i and i receive it now okay so i feel like you're trying to play a different tune here okay i feel like you're de definitely trying to shift your way of thinking shift the way you're feeling here inspiring others so not only through this journey that you're inspiring yourself here i feel like you're inspiring others at the same time all right what else do we have for libra Okay, doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Yeah, you can't know all the answers here, okay?
It's a form of control. Yeah, worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change the outcome. So I feel like there's this energy of releasing control and surrendering here. Um, what else do you have for Libra? Arrogance. If you're insecure or fear rejection, this behavior surface. Work on accepting your true self and give uh, uh, give yourself love as you are needing it. Possessive. You are clinging onto someone or something way too tightly. Learn to let go. Love has no ownership. Everyone has free will. Okay, so there's this energy of definitely releasing some sort of control here. Um, and as you're doing that, you're releasing your blocks. Kaunas, I hope I'm saying this right. Vision, revelation, knowledge, creativity. Okay. So as you're unblocking your lower chakras, I feel like you're more inspired to do things here. Uh, perhaps you guys are very creative. Maybe you guys are into your art or something like that. Harness power, fire of transformation and regeneration here. Um, so there's this very renewed energy about you. Perhaps this renewed energy is about, you know, working towards feeling safe, okay? And working towards not uh, perhaps not healthy, having uh, unhealthy attachments towards material things or something like that, okay? Um, perhaps this transformation is re regarding your uh, desires here. Um, your creativity, even your sexuality here too. So Jara, the results of earlier efforts are realized. So I feel like you're learning a lot about yourself right now, okay? So I feel like there's this, I mean, this journey probably hasn't really been easy for you, but I feel like you're still going through it, okay? I mean, let's see what else we have here. If you're not going through it, I feel like you're starting or that you will start at some point. What else do we have for Libra here? Two of Pentacles and the Judgment card in the reverse. You know, you could go back and forth. I mean, there's this energy of actually, even though you want to release this, it's also a, a, a really difficult part of your life. Uh, that you don't want to face, okay? So judgment, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with the Sag or Scorpio in or around your past, present, or future. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, the Ace of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Okay. And then we have the Ten of Cups. There's definitely about your family life, just your safety in general. That seems like that's where you're having the most trouble with because I'm feeling like someone here doesn't really trust people, anybody, even family or friends. Let's see, one more. In the Hermit here, Virgo energy. This is really interesting. You know, I feel like someone can't, I, I'm feeling like there's someone here that just can't enjoy happiness. Let's say if someone experiences a happiness, someone here feels like it's not normal and they run from it or they withdraw from it. I mean, like I said, this could be you, this could be someone that you're dealing with. We have the moon on the bottom of the deck. I mean, there's definitely a lot of stuff that needs to be unpacked here. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be unpacked, I feel. I feel like a lot of the stuff that you're feeling or experiencing throughout your whole life up, up until this point, I feel like it's like really deep-seated stuff here. Two of Pentacles. All right, we have the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. This is telling me that someone here has some childhood trauma that they're not facing here or that they're not acknowledging. They're not, not, they're not acknowledging that there is pain here. Uh, or that there's suffering that this person has been through or still going through here. Let's see. Judgment. In the reverse. Lots of fire energy here, by the way. Could be dealing with a fire energy, past, present, or future. I mean, these energies could be a parent, a sibling, a family member, a friend. You have the Page of Swords here. Libra, Taurus energy. This is telling me that we have someone here that's 
hasn't healed their childhood trauma. Ace of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles, okay. Ten of Cups, King of Swords, the Hermit, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, we got the Strength card. You know, I feel like I feel like you're trying to build the courage to stand up for yourself, speak up for yourself here. Um, Knight of Cups. You know, I'm feeling like there's a people pleasing energy here too. It's also to avoid conflict. I mean, in life, you can't avoid that, you know. So I feel like we have someone here that has poor conflict resolution here. Instead of actually facing it and talking it out, someone here runs from it. We have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This is you right here. And then the Six of Pentacles here. It's like, you know, uh, I just feel like someone here is just extremely guarded. Like I said, there's the energy of when someone here experiences happiness, someone here feels like it's not normal and then they don't pay attention to it and withdraw. What else do we have? Page of Wands. Well, Page of Swords. There's something to, uh, definitely going on with money here, okay? Or just, uh, you know, regarding a home. You know, regarding family, there's a lack of safety here. We have the Five of Cups. There's just a lot of sadness surrounding this. And I feel like you're trying to get past it. We have the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, Strength, King, uh, Knight of Cups. Okay. All right, Five of Pentacles. We have Justice here. So I really feel like you're working on changing the outcome of this so that you don't pass this on to a future generation or something like that. Um... I mean, there's this energy of definitely trying to face your karma. Yeah. I mean, there we, we do have karma that we inflict on ourselves. We do have karma that's been passed down, uh, generational and ancestral karma too. King of Swords. That's your energy right there, Libra. We have the Five of Swords here. It's like... I could hear someone saying, oh my God, I'm experiencing happiness. This is not normal. And then you immediately switch that, you know? Six of Pentacles. In the Page of Cups. I just feel like someone's child. Look at, so we have all these pages here. And I feel like someone here comes from a place of lack. It's like not enough. Or that, you know, it's like the happiness that someone experiences feels like it's not enough or it just feels like it's not normal. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. This is on top of the deck here. You know, I'm just feeling like someone here is definitely doing the healing work, pursuing their peace, balance, stability, their healing. But I just feel like someone here is really having a difficult time with this. You know, not that, you know, healing is an easy, uh, you know, not that shadow work is an easy thing. Healing is not an easy thing. But I feel like, you know, you know, what? be proud of yourself. Just be proud of the progress that you're at and just continue moving forward. Continue this journey. So, so, um... Libra, I hope this resonated. I hope this was helpful. If it was, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.